All right, guys. So today we will move on to rank and dense rank function. What these functions are? Let's see. Okay, I take the screen. Rank and dense rank functions are basically used to rank uh, the entire data based on a certain column. It is used to rank data based on a column, right? Based on a column, then it provides the rank. For example, if I have a data like this, let me take a very sample, simple sample data over here. For example, there is the name of uh, employees, then there is age, there is experience, and then there is some other information. Let's say there, is, there are only three tables over here. And on these three tables, there are, let's say, 100 employees, or let's say 103 employees over here, with their employees, given their age, given their experience. Now, I want to create another column, which is going to give me rank of these employees based on the experience level that they have in the descending order. That is, the most experienced person will be given rank 1, the second most experienced person will be given rank 2, the third most will be 3, and so on like this. So we use two functions over here. One is called as rank, the other one is called as dense rank. There is a minor difference between rank and dense rank. We'll see that. Let's see the syntax of rank first. Now, if you look at the syntax of rank, it goes something like this, that we select the column name. Let's say the column name is, again, all three of them. Let's say employee ID. I'm just taking a demo uh, column name over here, guys. It's just a hypothetical data. Employee ID, age. Then we have experience, right? This is taken. And then the fourth column comes in, something like, okay, the fourth column comes in, and the fourth column is nothing but the rank. It says rank right now rank then you have to give something like over let me do one thing let me first take care of this particular row over here and right? let me expand it properly towards the left great so rank is rank it up then you have to tell sql over what so you have to tell over this ordered column so you have to use order by order by a certain column let's say the column is your experience so this is experience over here. Let me explain this. Don't worry, I'll explain that. As give the alias of that particular column. We have already seen alias, right? Experience. And then you give from the table. Okay. So this is the entire syntax. Now, if I look at the entire syntax, let's understand each and every part of this. Right. Select employee ID. This is, these are nothing but my employee ID, age, experience are nothing but the already present columns these are already present columns now rank is that another column which is getting created rank is that particular function this is my function in fact if you look at it this entire thing is my syntax so it says rank then the next question sql will ask obviously on what so you give them over order by experience order by experience is let's create an order of an experience and give that column as rank of experience this is the alias of that particular column that you're creating and then finally this is from the table where you are fetching the data from this is rank function the dense rank function will have absolutely the same syntax it's just that the output differ slightly let's see that in a particular table in sql all right guys so this is the data that we are using the data that you're using as you can see is hr employee base i'll just run this again Okay, so this is the database that we're using and this is the table, which is our select star from employees. Now, let's say if I try and understand this particular data, now I want to, let's say, rank it up as per the as per the salary, let's say, and let's hope that there are two people who have the same salary. Okay, I can just hope, right, because I would like to show something to you guys because equal series are in that case will become important over here. Or oh, probably I will rank them as per, let's rank them as per manager ID for the same, for the sake of, uh, you know, explaining something to you guys. Let me, uh, you know, rewrite another query. The query goes something like this. Select star or probably I'll just give the first name, right? This is my first name. Let's say I hope I'm not making any syntactual error over here. This is my, actually I was first underscore name. And then I want to go for manager underscore ID. And then finally, I want to create a rank function over here. I'll just enter this, right? I'll, sorry, there will be no comma. I'll just put it over here. Rank parenthesis. I'll write over 
parenthesis open and then inside the parenthesis the second parenthesis over parenthesis i'll write order by order by manager underscore id and let's say i want to go for descending that is i want to uh, showcase the highest manager id over there followed by the least right and this is given as as rank this is the alias rank of manager id rank manager from let's say the table which is my employees right that's the name of the table need to remember the name of the table over here right oops there seems to be some error okay miss the comma over here right now it is fine now what's happened what will happen over here try and understand the syntax it's going to give me the first name the manager id it's going to give me the manager id right this is the one yes and then it's going to give me another column which is this column which is the rank over there's an order manager id in the descending order and give this as rank of manager right now if i run this query something like this will come up now as you can see there is a manager id the highest manager id is 229 so yasir is the name of that employee with highest manager id which is 229 is given as first rank now this is where things become interesting now hamza azhar mohit gaurav all of them have the same manager id over here which makes sense because obviously the manager will have multiple employees again with him right so what will happen here is that rank function is going to give me all of them give all of them as the same rank right all of them as same rank over here and if i go on now it jumps straight away from rank 2 to rank 12 because from rank till rank 2 till rank 11 all of them were ranked so there are 11 people over here so the 12th one was given was not given rank 3 it was given rank 12 straight away so it skipped all the ranks in between that's what rank is doing now if i change this if i change the query over here to dense rank see what will happen if i change it to dense rank yes and if i run the query again it will still give me the ranking but the only difference is now it will not give the 12th percent 12th ranking it will move on to the third ranking that is the only difference between dense rank that is both rank and dense rank are going to give the same rank to the people with equal quantities equal comparative values but rank is going to skip the in between ranks for example one two 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 five will be what rank will be given and one two 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 three is something what dense rank is going to give over the same i hope this is clear this is something which is quite useful when it comes to ranking the data